The great thing, the difficult thing you are facing and you want him to do, first acknowledge him the small thing. Anytime you are facing challenges, then he will listen to you. Anyway, in the thing you don't need him to do, you can do it yourself. Let him know he's the one doing them. You see, people will say T.B. Joshua is not a, it's not have speaking skills, not a I cannot do that, 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 that. when I need to call Jesus before I say a word in my heart. Jesus is Lord. Amen, amen, amen. It's difficult for me to do that. When I say in Jesus' name, I need to say thank you, Jesus, on my own. Be here. I pause. Thank you, Jesus. You don't know this, but this is my secret. When I start now and I begin to say, be here in the name of Jesus, I pause. I will not say, oh, thank you, Jesus, for giving me the grace to call your name. It's not the truth. Be here, be here, be delivered. Amen. Ah, what is all this? Acknowledgement. Not my, not my, the choice. Not mine, not mine, not mine, not mine, the choice it is for Acknowledge men. Look at what happened to David when he was called to face a Goliath. You listen to what he said. Took his, his he mentioned his antecedent when he was a caturia. So you have acknowledgement is the answer to your situation. That's it. Can somebody give us a lecture for one minute before we proceed? Yes, sir. From what we learned today is that we should always concentrate on Jesus in our hearts, thanking him daily in everything we do. Because in the little, little ways we concentrate on him, that will determine how big we can receive him in our heart. Thank you. Thank you. That is, faith is manifested in the small things. In our daily life. The word of God has ability to develop a force within our hearts called faith. I don't need to say it out, but I want to say it out so that you know what I mean. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You will soon be pregnant of Jesus. That is the secret. That is the greatest name, the only name that can scare all your enemy and send them away. Whether you mean it or not, try it, begin now, and see whether it will not turn to reality. It will become a reality. You now find its spirit, the spirit of God begin to defend you, there for you, in Norway. We are about to enter the new year. Enough is enough. What you are going through in the hands of enemy is mess. It's mess. You deserve excellence. Many people out there that say they are Christian, they cannot actually say emphatically that they are Christian because of what they are going through. You sleep, masquerade will chase you, 
a lot of nonsense. Are you a Christian? That is the question you used to ask yourself. Enough is enough. The kind of peace that comes determines where your prosperity comes from, where your breakthrough comes from, where your success comes from. Face your neighbor. The kind of peace that comes determine where your breakthrough, where your success, where your breakthrough come from. So thank you very much. Let us pray. The kind of peace that comes, the timing, what you are proud of is love, is love, amen. He has risen from the dead. Pass now. What it should be going in your heart? Thank you, Jesus. 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 You don't need to see what you thank him for. You first say thank you. And see what will happen next. You move, you walk, you smile, you, you greet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Even there is a situation before you. Thank you, Jesus. Difficult time before you. Thank you, Jesus. You receive a very bad phone call. Say thank you, Jesus. It will take care. He likes thanks. He likes what? Hmm. Tell your neighbor. Say, Jesus like what? Hmm. He likes it so much. It's so much. Open your mouth to say thank you for him. Your heart should be full of thanks. 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 We give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. Our souls have some rest. Oh. This is the habit you need to cultivate now. Habit is a gift from God. Habit. She said, oh, yeah, sometimes you go on your knee. You can just say, God, did this for me, did that for me, did that for me. Thanks settle the whole thing. Sometimes you know, no, no. give me bread, give me biscuit, give me this. Mm. Because you don't know what you say. It's your creator. He know you more than yourself. If you now say it to give you sin, this is like a, he's not know his responsibility. So thanks has settled the whole thing. But you cultivate this 24 7. 
Thanks, thank you. Your heart, thanks. You are praying. Tell your neighbor you are praying. praying. Yes. A breaking faith is breaking God. You have to walk by faith 24 7. Thanks, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord. 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 You are praying. You are praying. Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' name. I'm supposed to meet you in prayer. Now, I say in Jesus' name because you have been praying. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your heart is saying it. That's why I say in Jesus' name. But you are not always in prayer more. You are not always in attitude of prayer. This is why enemy can catch you just on PPA. Anything can happen to you just like that. When I'm going, just walking on the street, walking anywhere, you meet me, you challenge me, you know <laughs> I'm not walking alone. Because I pray all the time. No, I'm going. You see me going. Sometimes you say, TV Joshua. Before I say, you, hey, how are you? Because I'm busy. See me? But you, when you are going on, you just started. This is habit. I want to tell you a little about my habit. Habit is a gift from God. Constantly pray in your heart. As I'm talking to you, there's prayer going on. As I'm looking at you, there's prayer going on. Constantly pray. Prayer without ceasing. Prier sans cesse. Ore sin cesar. In him, in spiritual song. Par les hymnes, les chants spirituels. En hymnes et canciones espirituales. In spiritual song. In your heart. In your heart. In your heart. Dans votre cœur. In your heart. At the beginning, it may be very, very difficult. But as you continue, the Lord comes into the matter, help to do it for you. To show your genuineness, you have to start on your own. Peter said, I want to come with you, Lord, on the sea. Say, come. Peter was thinking that from that beginning, Jesus will to carry him to the child. But Peter moved on his own. And as he moved on his own, he found himself drowning. Going down the sea. When he was about to disappear, he was only hand was remaining up in the sea. Jesus realized, oh no, that is genuine. This is genuine witness. This is a love. I will make you fishers of men. Fishers of men. Fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you fall. Make you a feature of men. You become a deliverer, healer. People have problems, you remove their problem, you point them the way. This is the way. If someone is thirsty, you cannot give water, you cannot tell him the way. If someone is hungry, you cannot give food, you cannot tell him the way. When someone is thirsty, need water, and you give water, he will say, ah, where are you going? Take this way. He will follow. 
I will make you fishers of men. Fishers of men. Fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow. So, this is Jesus for you. So you are to start. That my habit, constantly pray in your heart. When you are doing this, it cannot affect any other thing you are doing. You can sit up to your neighbor while you are doing that, constantly in your heart. In your heart. That is prayer in the power of Holy Ghost. This is what I do. I meditate day and night on the word. And whatever I do, prosper. Do that. You see what will happen. When you are going to war, you wake up in the morning, you just have a portion. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. That is even enough. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in your heart. And you'll be like, people will greet you. How are you? Fine. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. What do you need the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus for? For sanctification. Our heart is so funny. Flesh, spirit, there's so much conflict. Your desire and God's desire. Conflict. There's so much division. Still, don't steal. Fight, don't fight. Help, don't help him. For and again, this is our heart. To sanctify this heart and make it focus. Just one focus. One way. One way, one way. A one way to heaven. One way, one way. Only one way to one way, one way, only one way to heaven. I'm so, so glad, I'm so glad that Jesus is the way. The way, not a way. When your heart begins to say, go this way, go that way, you know there's trouble. The way, not a way. So I meditate on the way, day and night. When I say on the way, I may constantly pray in my heart. In Him, you have many Him. Take more of me, give me more of you. Take more of me, give me more of you. Take more of me, give me more of you, Lord Jesus. That you have to be busy on that. Melody in your heart. Uh, 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 uh. inviting him. He will come at the time you are not expecting. He will come and once he take over that heart, he take control. But yet, now you are, you are, you are wrestled. There is so much conflict between this, that, that. This is, take care of your heart. Take care of your heart. That is my habit. You may stay with me for one day. You will not see me going to the prayer room to pray. You say, this man doesn't mean doesn't pray, uh, but he's a prophet. I've not seen him today praying, but he's, I'm, I've been seeing him moving along. He has not even been, go on his knee to pray. Uh, who said that? Don't pray. 24 hours. 24-7, my heart is praying. 
Hallelujah. Viewers all over the world, please take care of your heart. My habit, habit is a gift from God. Pray without ceasing. Constantly pray in your heart. In him, in spiritual song, make melodies in your heart to the Lord. Like everywhere is quiet, but how to engage in what? In prayer. Now you should be in this attitude of prayer. It's a normal life. You shouldn't have break. A break in prayer is a break in Christ Jesus. Tell your neighbor, a break in prayer is a break with Christ. So when you break your prayer, you break with Christ. What kind of prayer? It is not the one the human nature pray offer. It is the prayer in the spirit. Can you say you have been breaking with Jesus Christ for long? You break, you connect, you finish. Can you say you have been breaking with Jesus Christ for long? You break, you connect, you break, you connect, you break, you connect, you break, you connect, you break, you connect. Anytime you pray, you connect, you break. You are not supposed to. And Satan know when you are break. And when you break, that is when he strike. He touch you. He strike you. He know he will study you when you are not in an attitude of prayer. When you are not connected. When you are not there, he know. That is when he will come to your life and try to destroy. But when he knows that you are connected permanently, there is no stop. He will thereby never try. Hallelujah. You may be seated. You may be seated. You may be seated. You may be seated. Your divine nature will remain dormant. And when it's dormant, mean if anything comes and if you don't confess, we cannot place you. If you don't you just look at me, I cannot place you. You need money from me, you just come to me and be looking at me. I will not be able to place you. I can only place you when you confess, sir, this. I will place you. You go to emergency for healing because you, you meet the people in charge. I'm sick. I have headache. I want to go to emergency. But if you don't talk and you're just moving around, they will not call you and say, you need to go to emergency. No, 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 no. You have to confess. If you don't confess, we cannot place you. So your spirit man, that is your, spirit, your, your divine nature is dormant. You know, when I say something dormant, on act. It's not active. So it is time this year, you must learn how to pray in the Spirit. It is not your human nature. The child you chat all the time when you have problem, it is your human nature that chat, not your divine nature. Your divine nature is supposed to be in an attitude of prayer. It is not when you have difficulty you chat. When you have difficulty and shout that name, it is your human nature that chat and it cannot save you. If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. This is the, the difficulty people are facing today. Like you are sitting now, now, it's, now I said it, you, you started praying. You used to forgetting yourself. I said it now, you are starting praying now. And when your spiritual man, that is your divine nature is praying, your lips will not move. Nobody will know that you are praying. If people know you are praying, mean your human nature is the one praying. Because it will not affect the body. It will not affect the lips. And your body, it will not affect it. It is the, the one inside you that offer the prayer. And it will not engage you in strength, power, or you need to stop before saying it. There is nothing like that. That you need to, I, I need to stop. Silent before talk. 
the first pray in the spirit. No, no, no. That does not happen. He can do million things at the same time. He can speak million things. He can speak to million people at the same time. That is your human, your divine nature. You have two natures in one, in one person. But your divine nature has been dormant. It is your human nature that is engaged in, in encounter, in battle. This is why you fail. This is why you, you are not effective at all. When you are inside the vehicle and the vehicle is about to have accident, Jesus, it is not your human, your divine nature that child. Because you have not been ministered this in the spirit. It is your human that child. So therefore that will not save you. If you are in the house and the robber, the robber came with the gun. Are you ministering that name in the spirit before they enter your home? No. If you have not said this in the spirit and they enter your home with God, if you chant that name, you will not be able, be able to chant that name in the face of God. Because the more you chant that name, the more they attack you immediately. So now, you, right now, as we are talking now, start. The, as you are looking at me, start it. That will enable you to go where Jesus wanted you to go. You will find yourself where Jesus is welcome at all times. So you will not find yourself engaged in, in blasphemy or unnecessary discussion. When you are, in, you are praying in the Spirit, if people are talking, condemning or saying all sorts of things, you will not want to be there because you are busy. You are always busy in, 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 your, in yourself, in you. You will not have time for rubbish. And you have vision all the time. Dream upon dream. The reason why you are not dream and you don't understand your dream is because your spirit man is dormant. Charge it. Tell your neighbor, charge it. You can start it now. If you have started, let me see your hand. Let me see your hand if you have started now. Lights on, lights on, lights on. And give honor to this moment. Greater honor because you have discovered the secret. This is a, the greatest secret you have never. For the first time you are discovering it. New year. This is the gift. I'm here now. The Lord said I should give you light and with, let me see your hand if you have started now the meditation and your lips should not move nobody should know what you are meditating if people know you are meditating it is your human nature that is doing it so when you are doing it you are in an attitude of prayer the bible says wash and pray is it when we face difficulty is it when we face difficulty? Is it when we are in trouble? When shall we wash and pray? All the time. But you are not pray all the time. You are not wash all the time. When you see something excited, very exciting thing, you stay your eyes, forgetting yourself. What I was expecting you to be meditating this morning while you are here. You just sit down and say, ah, let me speak out what I'm expecting you to say. Who is this man, God? Who is this man, God? Who is this prophet, God? Who is this prophet, God? Show me who is this man. Show me. Before you know it, you go in chance. The Lord will show you. Or whatever you are saying. What is this? What is it? I want to know more about the situation, the way I am now. Where I am now, in the name of Jesus. Nobody will know what you are saying. You meditate. If you are doing that, you will not have time to engage in necessary discussion. You are not commit yourself with God's project. This is God's project. Tell your neighbor, this is God's project. There are man projects, there are God's project. But this is God's project you are engaging now.
you begin to do that, that doubt in your heart, that corruptible sea nature in your heart, your many heart is so corrupt. Many things cross their mind, cross their mind, cross their mind. Hey, they, don't do that. Hey, they, let's go and smoke. Some people are inside the church now. That spirit say, go out and smoke. They have hold of going to smoke. That kind of corrupted nature inside your heart will, will, will be cleansed by praying in the spirit. Try it. You will see your heart will be clean. You will now become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The righteousness is the gift of God. This it can happen. Start it. When you are inside a place and you see the situation, already you are in the spirit, you are praying. What the Bible means by being spirit means prayer in the spirit. That is what the Bible means. How can one be in spirit? Is it possible for you to transform yourself? Say, how can I be in spirit now? They say I should be in spirit. Ah, how will I be in spirit? No, they are saying you have two natures. Your divine nature should be praying. As you are here, inside you. Before you know you will be working like this, you will be seeing vision. God wants you to act with him. He wants you to, to act with him. And know God's opinion. And know people's opinion about you and other, others. God wants you to know this. It's a gift of God. Every man must act with God, must plan with God, must think with God. That is the reason why we are designed. Mankind is designed. Say after me, mankind is designed to act with God, to plan with God, and to think with Him. Are you acting with God? Do you act with God? Are you plan with God? When you cannot see, Vision, you cannot see anything beyond your nose, you cannot see. Because your divine nature is dormant. So when you start this now, little opportunity you have now, whether you sleep, where inside the church, whether you sleep or not, you'll be eating, you'll be seeing vision. You'll be eating, you'll see, you dream, dream. You walk, you'll be dream. You'll be seeing vision. Inside the vehicle, you move inside the vehicle or train, even inside the plane, it's possible inside the vehicle you tell the driver, please wait. Please, I, I want to get down. 